I want to just kind of talk a little bit today because sometimes life sucks and there are lots of different ways that we can react to life sucking and there's lots of different ways that we can try to overcome or solve the problems that we face and I feel like that includes becoming better and following the road to self-improvement. And I want to talk a little bit this month about the concept of strength and what that means. Because literally strength means to be strong and to have a quality of strength. It's like a personality trait almost um, that people associate as a good thing for people and things. And today I kind of want to talk and ramble and think about having a strong heart, which starts with talking about the heart and its purpose and all of that stuff. The heart is amazing. It's a hollow muscle, this organ inside of us. Its purpose is to pump blood through us with rhythmic contraction. This heart allows us to live, to move, to breathe. Literally speaking, our heart will beat over 100,000 times a day, which pushes more than 2,000 gallons of blood through over 60 thousand miles of blood vessels which is a lot the strong heart is like a machine that produces enough energy to equal powering a car for up to 20 miles in another sense the heart is a center it is the innermost part of something bigger than itself a heart carries passion desires dreams emotions Aristotle had this theory that the heart collected sensory input from all around it, and then from this data, thought and emotion arose, and he called this heartfelt. Plato also stated the idea that passions originated in the heart, whereas the brain was more reasonable and rational. The literal heart can be clogged and diseased, it can suffer an attack, and stop beating. And the figurative heart can be stomped on, troubled, empty, torn, let down, or broken. Love is a word that we frequently associate with the heart. This is evidenced by the plethora of heart-shaped doodads, candies, and sweet nothings that are associated with holidays and anniversaries of affection and love and lust. Um, but love is defined as a feeling of deep affection or intense affection, fondness, tenderness, warmth. To love something is hard sometimes as love can also be associated with infatuation or fleeting emotions of intimacy. And we can't forget that love can also be betrayed. However, as I'm thinking and pondering this and as I've been thinking about a stre the strength of heart and what that could mean, it's my opinion, it's my opinion that a strong heart is a heart that's inclined to love. Not because it's been programmed to lean towards that emotion, but rather because choosing to love, or a heart that loves, is more worthwhile and provides a greater amount of benefits for itself and for others around it. But as previously stated, love is a fickle thing. So a heart has to do more than love. Rather, it has to choose. The heart has to choose to do more than love and be passionate. I've heard a story somewhere where a class was asked to go talk about what love means 
to people who'd been in relationships for a long time. And the reason those relationships worked out was because the people chose to love. Because if they had left it up to the emotion itself, love would have fizzled out a long time ago and they would have given up. But they had to choose to love every day. And that's what made it worthwhile. And that's what made their relationships last. The heart, I feel, has to choose to entrust itself to carry out the passions and desires and dreams and live through the emotions of life as they come. And it does this all while beating over a hundred thousand times a day, which equals up to millions of times in a lifetime. It's important to remember that even strong hearts will be afraid sometimes. And even the strongest hearts suffer from being stomped on, the most courageous hearts will be empty and torn, and the strength of hearts is tested by being let down or broken from time to time. But eventually, I feel like the heart will rebound and find and choose something worth loving again. So what I want to say today is that we need to find something that will help our hearts be strong, both literally and metaphorically. I know that there are situations out there where hearts are not strong to begin with, literally. They have defects or disease, but there are things to help remedy that and help alleviate those stresses and pains. And if that's you, then I really encourage you to find something that'll help alleviate the stress and pain on your literal heart. As for the metaphorical, find something your heart can commit to. Find something you love and do something you love. Because that's what life is. When we choose to love, we choose not to hate. And to me, in a world that has a lot of prejudices and racism and entitlement, choosing to love despite this is almost like a superpower. It's so important. So find something that will help your heart to be strong, both literally and Thanks for listening to me ramble today. Um, it's been fun. I enjoyed this, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and the artwork accompanying it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you come again because I really want to continue to provide content that's worthwhile. Um, remember, why not do the impossible? And Obi-Wise, what more can I say? Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye!